and I'm going to be doing a really fun, exciting soap adventure today. Um, so I'm going to be making some soap ornaments and I hope you guys will come along with me and join in all the fun. Soap making essentials. <laughs> melted down just a tiny bit of the white melt and pour and I'm going to pour it into this container they have these little small grooves I just need a tiny thin layer so I can make some of my embeds perfect okay so that's good it fit perfectly into two little squares. That's about all I will need. I'm gonna spray here so there's no bubbles that come to the surface. And I will let these dry and then cut some little snowflakes and some ho ho ho's out of those. So this is what I'm gonna be using to make my little ornaments. So they're very small, but these are absolutely perfect. This is for um, a large ice cube <laughs> that you can stick in like a drink and it absolutely is perfect. It's a really thick silicone, perfect for molds, and that will make a really cute giant round soap. So that's awesome. And I previously made all these embed circles, and they're really pretty color. I might cut them in half um, and try to mold them so they'll stay on the outside of the ornament. This is all an experiment, so hopefully it turns out good. <laughs> so I've cut about half of these in half. Um, just to see what it will look like. I love that color and it's so much lighter in person. It's like a mint That's more of a better description. It's a mint color. But anyways, um, so I did half just leave them round and half like this and I'm going to stick them on the inside of oops, of these molds so I'm gonna stick it like Look at that and then I'm gonna pour the other stuff in there. So hopefully it'll work good. This is definitely an experiment. <laughs> all right, so I stuck all of the halved um, soap embed balls and I stuck them onto the outside here. And for this one, as you'll see, I prepared the top of it. Um, I just tied a knot, um, stuck it up through the hole, and then there's the cute little top and it's very sparkly. And I prepared this one too and I'm just going to stick it up through the hole and then have a little bit down and this will be caught in the soap so it'll hopefully stay firm. Just made these little thin, little thin soap pieces. I'm going to cut some either ho 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 or a little snowman or just some little um, snowflakes or some kind of design like that and use that for one of the outsides of the baubles. I used a little squeezer tube. Um, a first, okay, for, first of all, I poured in a layer. This has all got rubbing alcohol in there. I poured a layer um, up to this middle part of one color and then I took a little squeezy tool, pushed this to the side and just dabbed it in until it was completely full. And now I'm just waiting for these guys to dry and I'm so excited to see them, but these ones I'm gonna fill up um, and we shall see how it turns out. I've made these little snowman cutouts and I'm gonna do some little snow possibly to go around and I'm gonna use this blue color um, in the last two bulbs. So wish me good luck. Hey guys, so I'm trying a new kind of technique here. I've got my um, embed snowman on the side. This one I'm not sure if it'll work, but this one looks good. Um, so I've got my color in there. It's a very light, pretty blue. My camera always shows a green, but anyways. So I tried to cover up the hole here on both sides with some melt and pour, and I'm gonna let that harden and then see if I can fill the rest of it, do a light layer here, and then close them together. So we'll see if that works, hopefully. 
So I just wanted to show you how my Christmas ornaments turned out because they turned out really awesome. I was really excited. Some of them are not perfect, but that's okay. <laughs> Some of them are awesome. So this is one of the stripey ones. It turned out so cute. Look at it. And such vibrant colors. It's awesome. So I just did um, some like layering of the different colors and then I closed the lid and then I did a dropper for these top two layers and then it all connected together and of course each of them have the little ribbon and it matches perfectly with the colors. It looks so cute. Here is another blue one. This one's almost like perfect. It's awesome and it's so cute. And they all smell amazing. I love the smell. I put a lot of um, scent in there. I think like for each color I probably use two um, dropper full of scent, um, but they turned out just perfect and I love them. This one's like amazingly symmetrical. <laughs> this is the one with the dots and I think that looks really cool too. That turned out awesome. This is something different. My snowman did not turn out at all, <laughs> but it's still kind of cool looking. It is interesting. This is the other snowman. <laughs> so they definitely didn't turn out as I thought, but they're still kind of cool looking. And I did a pink one that was a little bit more girly and Christmassy of the stripes. I definitely like the stripes the best. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. I hope you have an awesome day and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. See you in the next one. Bye.